wrecking my nerves. It's wrecking my nerves because I don't know if I'm going to wake up this day to chaos or calmness. And that's not what I want to be living in and raising my children. Earlier this evening, we introduced you to Takara Videli, a Madison mom who has moved her family to a hotel because she no longer feels safe in her new apartment complex on the city's east side. That property, the Meadowlands, is now declared a chronic nuisance by the city and the Madison Police Department. And the police say if things don't change, that company that owns the property could be the ones evicted. NBC 15's Elizabeth Wattis joins us now. Elizabeth, your data show police are there nearly daily responding to 911 calls, right? Yeah, and since the property opened eight months ago, the East Side Police captain tells me those 911 calls were increasing, and so have the severity of the crimes committed. The city says they can't police their way out of this. They need the commitment of the apartment complex owners to step up and do its part. The apartments themselves are stunning. Kim Heard with KCG Companies, the group that owns the Meadowlands, says the design of these buildings are what hardworking Madison families deserve. Let her go. Let her go. But less than a year from opening day, it's stressful, it's scary. Those same hardworking families, weed it out, get it out of there. Like Takara Videli's, say they deserve a whole lot more. Just the whole thing was just unplanned, unorganized. On average, police get called to the property almost three times a day for things ranging from noise complaints to battery. It was definitely a stressor for the officers that were responding out there. The Meadowlands is now deemed by city ordinance a nuisance property, a property harmful to the community and negatively impacting safety. This is the quickest that I've had to issue a nuisance abatement for a property. So. They started renting to tenants in September, and I think we issued the initial nuisance abatement letter in February. Madison East Police Captain Jamal Gary and Madison Alder J.L. Curry work hand in hand trying to turn the property around, but they are putting the pressure on the property owners, KCG, to step up too. It has to be all hands on deck. Like Captain Gary said, we can't police our way out of the situation. Nobody wants to be in this situation, right? Heard points to the initial communication with the police department as one of the problems. I wish that um, we had a better heads up, that the police um, had the concerns they had, and, um, and we could have gotten ahead of that. Captain Gary disagrees. We had been in contact with them since the property opened. So I, I don't know how much sooner we could have made them aware of the issues going on here. Heard also claims most of the issues don't come from tenants. The majority of our troubles resort from uh, guests or uh, other members of the community, not particularly our residents. Another claim directly refuted by law enforcement. Most of the people that we've been dealing with live at the apartment complex. KCG has been ordered to try to mitigate the issues with an abatement plan by putting up more cameras, hiring security, posting no trespassing signs, and meeting with police weekly. Changes Captain Gary says are helping. I would say um, we have not seen as many significant incidents as we were seeing two months ago at the apartment complex. But more needs to be done to give Madison families the homes they deserve. One of the conversations that I feel that hasn't been going on um, or the perspective is, is that of the residents and that we also need them to be on the team. Alder Curry tells me she wants to see the Meadowlands form some type of residential council to help create new rules. KCG tells me they have implemented a zero tolerance policy and a no trespass list to get the people causing the issues out. If problems do continue, though, KCG could lose the state tax credits they received for providing this low-income housing. In the studio, Elizabeth Wattis, NBC 15 News.